So let's quickly come to the point. So what is smoothing? It is exactly how the name is saying it smooths the surface. So if we see here, think about this. This is a cylinder, okay? So if I turn off the smooth here, so you can see the edge is very jaggedy. But if you turn on this subdivision, then it is smooth, right? So it is smoothing the surface. What you need to understand how the smooth how the smoothing is working okay if you try to add smoothing on this one so i'm pressing ctrl one to add the smooth so okay so it, it had some sort of uh some caging done so let's add another cube here g and delete this guy then ctrl d and uh, here so so this one this have only this many edges okay so now if I try to add a smooth on this so it will just uh, ring the sh ring the shape absolutely right so we cannot do anything with that but we need to understand how this thing works okay so see what is in here so here you can see that in this area we have we have added this edges here also have added these edges that's why it is not ruining the shape but it is adding a very good smooth on the surface so how this thing actually works you need to understand that so if it cat clerk okay we also call this as a uh, subdivision modeling so it most of the time it is an and it, it have to be in cat clerk so that it can smooth the surface what it is doing is adding a extra edge in between these two edges and also at the same time curving the object that's how it is becoming smoother and smoother how much you subdivision how much subdivision you're adding to your model but if it isn't simple then you can see it is just adding the subdivision but not smoothing it out so you have to go to the cat clerk and let's apply this one then you can then you can understand go and apply and just this wireframe so now you can see this is how much age ages it has uh, introduced to this model now go here and here also add the subdivision but at the same time go to the simple one and then add apply so now you can see that this is not smoothing the surface it's exactly same but adding some subdivision here some edges here now why we smooth the surface because if you see these edges this is super sharp okay so no edges in this world are like this much sharp so that's why we add smooths and also for uh, forming the object because like you can see this this is I will uh, show you an example afterwards because you cannot model with uh, so much topology that it is already smooth but if you try to model with so much topology then it is not possible to model anything right so you model with a lower amount of uh, edges and then you add the subdivision on top of that and then the surface is becoming smoother okay so the process behind this thing is if you want this shape and if you want at the same time this edges should be a little rounded smoothen out then what you have to do you have to add some edge loops here 
then here we call this as supporting edge loops okay here then here then again here then again here check if uh, anything is missed if not then press this sorry uh, go to the yeah go to this object mode then add the subdivision now you can see this shape is preserved but it is adding this extra level of it loops and it is moving the surface so if you go to normal mode so you can see that here you have this very good smoothing on the on the edges okay so the concept behind this is if you want to achieve this the edge you want to the edge you want to be harden beside the edges beside that edge you have to add two more subdivision two more edge loop okay and we call this as caging or this loops are called supporting edge loops so you have to add these edges and then only those edges will not be smooth out that will be hardened and the other parts will be smoothed out so if you think about uh, some other things like add a cylinder then I'm just rotating this so Think about it. This is a okay. Sorry. Uh, so think about this is a cylinder. And you're trying to model something. Okay. This again, another extrusion. Then this then just I'm not trying to be exactly perfect but just showing you the process of smoothing the surface go here from here just Again, I'm trying to rotate to the surface. Press E to extrude and G to grab again. Then I'm rotating the surface, then scaling the surface. And again. just doing some modeling here okay so now you can see this areas are like pretty less amount of edges it have right so you have to model like this way you can you cannot just do this like this mean this much extrude then this much extrude and then, then this much and that is how you're smoothing the surface that is not going to work right you have to work in this amount of topology and then Obviously, it's, uh, I'm not uh, doing uh, very perfectly, so you probably will add a little bit more topology uh, when you are modeling. But think about this, and now on top of that, if I add one level of subdivision, or just two level of subdivision, then it will be like this. So you can see these areas are smooth now, 
and it pulls up the vision here. So you can see this areas are smooth, right? This area is smooth, okay? But you can see here it is a lot of problem. So that's why you need to know how the smooth works. What I have said that this is the supporting loops you have to add here because you want this edge you want this edge as a hardened edge so that's why you have to add loops here and also in this side right so how you add to this side just go to the face and then inset the edge now you can see here we have another edge loop okay so I'm also going here control R again adding an edge loop here then just uh, pressing 3 for the face then insert it out and here you have another edge right here you have another edge so you want this edge to be hardened that means that in the both of the side you have to add two edge loops okay you can add more edge loop if you want a more harder kind of uh, edges but no, you, you don't need that but that is a little advanced kind of things so let's move on to the other side so now you can see these areas are smooth these areas are smooth but here it is sharp why because we have added this subdivisions here and also at the same time we added the edge loops here okay so now if you now if you want this edge loop as a hardened edge then this exactly the same thing you will be adding this one here and this one here and we call this process as a caging okay because we are caging this edge loops with the other edge loops okay that's why we call it as caging now you can see this is again a hardened edge so this is how the smoothing works so if you're modeling something in the subdivision method then and mostly for models in films and games uh, we use the smoothing in every object so if you're modeling in subdivision method then remember if you want an edge to be hardened then you have to add edge loops like this in the both side of the edge and we call it as uh, supporting edge loops or restrictions sometimes but if you want this area to be smooth enough then you will not add any edge loop in in that area you have to uh, just leave it like it is and then you can add some other edge loops like here like if you want a little more rounded like see you can you can see this is like that but now if you want it again a smoother surface then leave it like this if you want it as a hardened edge then add some edge loops adding in one on one side it will be like this less prominent if you add in the both side mostly you're adding in the both side then it will be like that that is the thing okay that is how the smoothing works in the subdivision method in the cat clark method so thanks for watching and uh, if you are new here in this channel then probably you are so uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tutorials like this more often and uh, if you are liking this video please like share and things like that so people are subscribing to the channel thanks a lot be happy cheers